compared to last year, we're actually traveling. We're going to meet up with the rest of the family for the first time, you know, so it's a special moment. Um, majority of my family were vaccinated, but the other half is not, you know, so, I, I, you know, we're, we're being safe. We're keeping, you know, masked and we're vaccinated and... Yeah, we're expecting this year's travel period to feel a lot like it did back in 2019, the pre-pandemic. We're expecting about 53.4 million people will travel. So that means you're going to have a lot of company on the roads. There's going to be traffic. And when you get to the airports, if you're flying, you're going to have a lot of lines. It's exciting in regards to be traveling now, especially with things are opening back up, some sense of normalcy going on. So I, I, am, I welcome it anytime I can travel and get away. Gas prices are high, but they're definitely not deterring travelers. Once people have decided they're gonna go, they go. They just figure out another way of budgeting in the cost. Cat me out at a hundred dollars. Bill, when I pulled in uh, and saw the gas prices, it was a little bit of sticker shock out here from compared to Tennessee. We did not travel last year because COVID restrictions and all, you know, all that. But um, you know, we're confident enough, and you know. The vaccine and where things at are now with with the with the virus that you know we felt comfortable traveling. We flew out here. It's about 130 miles that we're going roughly, and um, I actually hadn't planned to fill up here because it's almost five dollars a gallon. So I plan to actually stop halfway where I know there's super gas and finish filling up there. It's we are we are certified COVID free and fully vaccinated because we're traveling to Canada and they require all kinds of paperwork. Yeah, it's it's dangerous but you love these people so you do you do what you can to stay safe around them but also be around them because life is short